A lot about cooking. No, but this morning he's getting help from a brand new group of experts. He's live in Sacramento from the <laughs> Salvation Army's Culinary Program. Hi, Sean. Yeah, teaching me a thing or two along with uh, what my wife is teaching me at home because I'm not the biggest cook. You know, re microwave something or uh, read a couple <laughs> of instructions. I could learn a thing or two from these students here inside the Salvation Army 16 week program, first ever one graduation next week. And I'll tell you right now, they've learned a lot. Okay, so this is Brian. He's been going through it now for 16 weeks. This is more than you actually thought, Brian. It's a lot sure of, is. lot of like test taking paperwork. Sure was. What, what goes through it? Um, there's a lot of computer work. There's uh, we're going through the uh, uh, culinary cooking book from Pearson, which is an excellent book, an excellent program. Um, and this teaches you everything, everything. everything: how to hold every kind of utensil, a knife. You could basically know nothing and walk out of here with a job. Exactly. If people are hiring. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. As long as you what do we got going on over here? We're braising off some ribs for lunch this afternoon. Okay. Oh, that's the best sound. I'll tell you right now, there's nothing like that when you're hungry, especially when you get up at 1.45 in the morning. You know, Brian, for you going through something like this, is this, you know, a dream to be able to kind of turn things around and have a, an opportunity to get a job? It's actually a blessing. Um, it, it's been absolutely wonderful to be able to change my career, come into the culinary field. I love it. I, I love it. What are you looking forward to most about this graduation? Just kind of getting that weight off your shoulder? Uh, getting out in the workforce and actually applying what I've learned. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank We're going to go talk to Tony. Where's Tony at? Tony's behind right me. Here. Tony, all right. We, we talked to you on Thanksgiving morning when you're cooking all those Thanksgiving meals for everybody. Watching the students go through it and using your knowledge to teach it on, pass it on, how does that make you feel when you see these students so close to the graduation like well, that? Well, it's really exciting and, you know, it seems it's gone so fast, but they've learned so much. They did their practical final yesterday and we're, we're also amazed at how much that they have actually absorbed and, and gained. Um, what goes into the practical final? Something like you had to start well, we to finish a, a meal? We did a blind basket where we gave them sets of ingredients. We had three teams. One was a chicken team, one was a pork team, one was a beef team. Um, and the beef team chose a, a braised short rib, which was really wonderful. Oh, that so good and right horseradish now. mashed oh. potatoes, oh. bourbon glazed carrots. I mean, it was beautiful. And the uh, uh, chicken team went with the cordon bleu, and the uh, pork team went with the stuffed uh, pork chop, which was Phenomenal. quite my. And the judges that came in from the outside actually said we went, they went with high end risky dishes, which they did. Yeah. But, but they, uh, they've been really, truly awesome. And we're looking forward to getting them out in the workforce and getting them out yeah, in Sacramento. That's what it's all about. So if you're hiring, you're watching this, you're a chef out there, you need help, hire somebody like Brian. I'll tell you right now, he's learned a lot. He knows now the ins and outs of a kitchen. Guys, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Sean Bennett there, learning uh, on the job.